How to run the Brushless Heli software. First you have to download the software. I will have a l information and a link under the more info on the video that you're watching now. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, there will be information under the video itself with hyperlinks. So once you get this software downloaded, put it somewhere. Now this doesn't install uninstall until Windows, it's a self-running EXE program. So all you do here is click VL Heli Setup, and that's it. Here's the program. Once you open the program, plug in the USB Brushless Heli flashing stick. The small plug plugs into the Oversky ESC on the plug, so plug that in, in first. Then plug in the end to your computer. You'll hear a Windows confirmation. Now what you need to do is plug in the battery to the ESC power of the helicopter. Once you do that, you'll get a read setup confirmation on the, the uh, brushless heli software. On the USB flashing stick you'll have a red light and a green light. So you're all set here. Now all you have to do is click read setup. Target ESC setup read successfully. And you'll see here XP7 for, for main. That's the firmware version that's in it. And here's the firmware version itself 7.0. Now what you could do is click Setup, Save Setup to INI File. What this does is save all the current settings that you just imported here into a file that you could later restore. So if you want to mess around with the settings, you could always revert back here. So what you, all you do is give it a name, and then click Save. Now I'm going to put it on the desktop because it's quick and easy to get to. So here's, here's the file where it put it. Now say you want to make some program changes here. And then you flash it to the SC, but you want to revert back to the file you just saved. You click Setup, Read Setup from INI File. And this is, we have to find which one I just did. 10 to 12. Hit click on that and now you can see it reverted back to all the settings so I'll do that one more time so we have different settings here we'll turn them all down for an example well, some of them all down set up read setup from INI file click it in and it just restored all the defaults here. Then all you have to do is click right setup and it'll flash it back to the uh, ESC and you're all set. Okay, now that we've done that, here's all your default options. So you could pick and choose whatever you would like to change or modify. Uh, for example, say we uh, turn the motor timing up to high. Maybe we want more start power maybe we want more governor gain once you get all your settings here then what you do is click right setup this will flash it to the ESC unflashed or erased and valid B E S E type just click OK 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 and now target updated successfully we just flashed the drive I'm going to ask the people why we get that error message and then uh, I'll update you on that. But it does update here, target updated successfully, read setup, click that and you can see here it's stored up the new settings I put in, startup power, more main governor, more main governor eye gain and whatever else I changed here. So that's basically it. I showed how to open the program, how to read the current setup in the ESC, how to 
save the file and import a file and how to flash the ASC. So the, what I want to do now is I don't want to keep those settings that I just made. So I'm going to click reach set a file from INI, click the open, and then write set up. And then again we have to click this error message OK. Target updated successfully. Now my ESC is back to where I first started from. So this the, concludes how to run the brushless heli software. That's uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, once you download the software, uh, you're all set. And there's a manual in the brushless heli software programming by transmitter. You could open up and read that. I might or make a video on this, I'm not sure yet. But this will tell you uh, how to program the ESC with the transmitter. And it's this manual is done pretty well. This is just a quick example of it here. This gives you a little information on the arming sequence, the beeps, the throttle, input signals, thermal protection, startup procedures, and reversion history. Connect the USB brushless heli flashing stick. First connect the small end into the ESC in the bottom. Then you want to plug in the USB plug here into the computer. You'll hear a confirmation beep and you'll see a red and green LED. Next step here is to plug in the battery. and you'll have a red LED, green LED. So you have the USB flash stick in the computer into the ESC and you have your battery plugged in. 